Hey, John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got an interesting question. I've been getting a lot of emails about my blogging course. If you haven't checked it out, you might want to. I'll put a link to it in the description, but I have this free three-week blogging course that basically takes you through the whole process of creating a blog and becoming successful with it. It's called uh, How to Create a Blog to Boost Your Career. Uh, like I said, you can, you can follow the link there, but basically I go through this whole process in three weeks of two lessons each week teaching you how to create a blog about, I think around a thousand people have gone through it so far. So uh, it's been pretty successful, but I've been getting a lot of good questions. So a lot of the questions will probably come from that, uh, that I'll, that I'll be doing in the next few weeks here. So I got this question from Taylor and uh, Taylor basically says, uh, uh, this email blog course was really fun and I learned a lot. Uh, not only did I learn about blogging and marketing myself, I learned a, a lot about myself. Um, how I was nervous, scared and shy about telling my story to the rest of the world. Now uh, with uh, two posts, I'm not shy or nervous about telling my stories to the world. Okay, well that's good. That's uh, you know that's what happened. It's kind of weird, and just to interject here, that uh, it it doesn't seem like creating a blog and writing would be that uh, intimidating, but it is. I mean, doing video, I'll tell you, doing YouTube videos is probably the most intimidating. People who can speak on stage, when they first get in front of the camera, they freeze up. And uh, if you watch some of my early YouTube videos, you probably will see that. Uh, I, I did a little bit of you know acting and stuff earlier in my career, so I, I was a little bit camera trained. But anyway, it, uh, it definitely, it's good. You know, doing a blog post, it, it's going to be nervous. You're going to be nervous at first, but you get over it, right? So Taylor got over it. But then he says, uh, you know, he's got a new problem here. He says, uh, uh, basically, the only thing I get nervous about now is will I be able to get that post written and proofread and published by my deadline? So in that blogging course, I tell you to set a deadline of when you're going to commit to this, right? So good that he's done that. Uh, and, uh, and basically, he says, I'm still reading your book. I have uh, uh, quite a bit of information to go over in marketing course. So he's got the, the how to market yourself course as well. Uh, things have been busy and I'm a terrible writer. So it takes time to get posts ready to publish. So he's got a couple of questions here. One says, uh, what do you uh, do if you want to write a post about a certain topic, but you came across that same topic being talked about? Let's say the topic is the same and the content would seem to be identical in nature, like 80 to 95% the same. Do you still write the post? Uh, I don't want to sound as if I'm trying to plagiarize or steal their content. So, okay, so Taylor, uh, you know, the first thing I would say here is do not worry about this, right? Uh, and I'll give you a good example here. If you go and you search on Google for some subject that you want to learn about, right? If you see five or six blog posts that essentially, you know, are different variations of the same message, that's a good thing, right? You're pretty happy about that because it means you're on the right track. When you see just one blog post out there and you're like, uh, not sure if this, if this is correct information or not, it's a little bit harder to make your decision, right? I'll, I'll frequently do a search on some problem that I'm having and I'll see, you know, a few different blog posts and I'll read through all of them and each one was valuable, especially if it reiterated some of the same stuff. Now, I'm not saying go out and plagiarize it. I'm not saying go and read these blog posts and, and, you know, and just plagiarize them. But what you might want to do, this is actually a good strategy is to read some of the blog posts on the topic already and rephrase it, make it simpler, cover the things they didn't cover, make it easier to read, figure out what is wrong with their post and make yours better. It's not plagiarizing, you know, it's, it's, it's a totally different thing. You're just in creating something new, creating something better from what was already out there and what was already popular. I've done this with several of my blog posts. You really don't have to worry. It's it's not like writing a book or writing a term paper. You know, this is your opinion. And hey, if you want to write a blog post about a subject that's already out there, there are the world is so big. Go for it. Do not even worry one bit about this. You know, if you if you feel guilty, if you feel like you did grab a lot of good information from another blog post, cite them, link to them, and say, I, hey, I got this from here. Just be honest, and and you know, no one is gonna be upset about that. So go for it. Do not worry. The second question he said is, how many times do you proofread an article before publishing it? I spent four hours proofreading my last post. Now granted, three whole Pomodori were spent on, on a complete rewrite, but I just don't have time to do that. I need to learn uh, other things, get started on my next blog post. Yes, granted, the process should get easier as I write more, but you have a system in place and how many times do you proofread a particular post before saying enough is enough, uh, I need to get this published or I'll be getting behind. So. So Taylor, again, 
this one, you know, it, it's don't worry too much about this, right? So there's there's a balance you have to strike here between being perfect, right, and 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 shipping, and you want to err towards shipping, right? You want to get your blog post out. So what I personally do is uh, I, I sort of shoot from the hip. I write and I almost ship the first draft. Now I say almost here because I go through, I read it once, I make some changes, I put some images in, I bold things, right? And, but mostly my text stays, right? Because I gotta do this in order to produce every week. And the second thing I do is I ship it off to my wife. <laughs> my wife is the proofreader for all of my posts. So she goes through, she fixes grammar and, and errors and things like that and gives me some ideas and a little bit of feedback. But that's it, then it ships. I make the changes that she suggests and then I ship the thing and, and I get it out the door. And that's critical because you really wanna be able to get these posts out the door. Don't spend a ridiculous time proofreading. You know, Don't ship junk, right? Don't ship crap. Don't just write some spelling error, grammatical error piece of, of garbage that you haven't looked over at all. But at the same time, strike a balance and, and try to go for the 80%. Don't try to be perfect. You can always change it later. You know, if, if you err between the two things, err to the side of shipping. It's better to ship than it is to just, you know, try to make something perfect and never ship because action is what's gonna get you there. If you can consistently write blog posts, that, that's where you're gonna be successful in anything really. So err towards shipping. You know, do the minimal proofreading that you need to. Don't do all these crazy rewrites and stuff. And you're right, as you get better as a writer, it's gonna be simpler. I wrote my whole soft skills book almost first draft. It's kind of crazy, I know, but I've been writing so much, I write so much every day that I can sort of ship my first drafts. Now, you know, I, I realize that some people might not like that or, or wanna do that, but anyway, it, we will get better. Hope this advice helps you. I'm gonna to have to cut this a little bit short because my camera battery, I'm just watching it flash here as I'm talking. All right, that's it. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and, and comment below if you've, if you've got a comment. But if you do one thing, subscribe to the channel. All right, take care, talk to you next time.